what's going on YouTube? You are watching JR Sports Brief. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically all we're going to do here is we're going to talk sports. I'm going to talk sports with you guys and you guys are going to talk back. I'm going to give my opinion. You guys let me know what you think. You can tell me if the sky is blue, the Yankees lost because the sky is blue, then you tell me that. If you think Melky Cabrera should start over Brett Gardner, I don't know what's wrong with you, but hey, go for it. If you think Pedro is better than Levon starting, then hey, go for it. I tell you what I think. You tell me what you think. You hit me back. You tell me if I'm wrong. You know, everybody's human. We're right. We're wrong. We all got our own opinions, but that's besides the fact. So thanks for checking out the first JR Sports Brief. Now, first thing I wanted to talk about today and get this out the way was Gary Sheffield. I don't know if any of you guys heard or any of you guys have, have checked the news out or anything like that, but the Detroit Tigers released Gary Sheffield. You know, 40-year-old, big as a truck, Gary Sheffield. You know, uh, used to play, let's rattle the teams off and correct me if I'm wrong, this is off the top. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers uh, got kicked off. Or it was a race thing, he said. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, uh, who did he play for? He played for so many teams. He's one of those guys. Uh, he played. I know he played for the Marlins. I don't think he played. No, he did not play for the Pirates. He played for the Brewers, the Padres, the Dodgers, the Yankees. He played for the Braves before he played for the Yankees. Gary Sheffield is has been on a lot of teams for a guy to hit 499 home runs. And, you know, that's when the Tigers released him today. He hit 499 home runs. And I think he hit about 12 last year, 2008 season. But hey, what you going to do? He's always, seems like he's always having uh, wrist problems and his arms are always hurting. Uh, he, and the reason the Detroit Tigers today said they're going to release him, they basically said, we're looking for versatility. Keyword, versatility. Now, Gary Sheffield, you know, 40-year-old guy. And by the way, He's getting $14 million to go take a hike. You know, how many, I don't, I, I, that's a dumb question. That is a dumb rhetorical question to even ask. How many people would take $14 million to go take a hike? But bottom line is, Gary Sheffield is getting it. So, <laughs> hey, my thing is, if people will give you money, large amounts of money like that, and say, hey, man, we don't want you. I admire you, man. I really look up to you. But besides that, back to the, the versatility. The Tigers said they wanted versatility in their lineup. Because we all know, Gary Sheffield is not running around in no outfield. He's not diving. He's not jumping. He's just, I don't know how much lateral movement he has left, if that, you know. And his response was, kind of, well, I, 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 I'm the best athlete on the team. Look, man, nobody asked you about your athleticism. Because the bottom line is we know you can't move. You are a truck. Let me tell you, I've seen Gary Sheffield in person at Shea Stadium in the upper deck. And I have not seen a human being with arms bigger in my entire life. His arms were like, like four of mine. Like, like four, six, like six of my forearms. So, and when I'm not even going to get into all that drug stuff. You know, uh, Gary Sheffield, know if he does, he did drugs. You know, he did the little rubby rub on his leg. A little, I just rubbed the butter on my arm. He knows about all that. But here's what it comes down to. The man is 40 years old. And we know Gary Sheffield has said his share of Garyisms over the years. And... It's it's just Gary Sheffield. He's 40. He's old. All he could do is probably swing for a home run. I think he batted 175, 178 in spring training. He, I think he got about 45, 50 at bats. And Gary Sheffield, that's what you see is what you get. And the bottom line is, I think he's done. It's finished. He's, uh, what is he going to do? Be uh, Julio Franco? How old is Julio Franco now? Uh, or you met fans and Atlanta fans and all the other 30 odd teams that Julio Franco probably played for over the last 90 years. 
Gary Sheffield, we know he's not going to want to come off the bench. And I think I actually read a quote that says he thinks he could still go out and play in the outfield. Cut it out, dude. Let somebody sign you. I think the Phillies may have inquired. Now, I don't know where he's going to play in the Phillies outfield. But somebody, pick this man up. Pick him up. Let him get his one home run. Let the man walk away. But I, I just have a feeling Gary Sheffield is one of those guys. He's going to have to be carried off on a stretcher. Or he's going to end up like Bernie Williams. Just waiting to come back in. So that's what it is. Gary Sheffield. In a day or two, he could be with somebody. But you never know. He could sit out for the next six months. He could sit out for a year. Two years. Three, four, five. The next thing you know, Gary says... I still hit that fastball, and he's the only one that still believes it. So, you let me know what you think. What do you think about Gary Sheffield? You think he's going to come back? You think he's done? You think he's over? What's left? Let me know. Hit me up. Leave a comment. Put another video response up. Let me know. Let's have dialogue. Good looks. Thanks for checking out JR Sports Brief. Look out for him. Subscribe. There, there'll be a whole lot more coming. You're, you're going to see how diverse I am in the world of sports. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about rugby. Watch it. Check it out.